So uh, you were talking about like, different <clears throat> drug influenced music. Give me a list of all the d different bands that you really liked, whose whose music was heavily influenced by drugs. Mm. That you really, I mean, just well. Let me put it this way: What are some of your favorite bands? Period. Some of my favorite bands. Uh, musicians. Um, like David Bowie, um, Stooges, um, like uh, like metal a lot. Um, big. Uh, Metallica, Mastodon, uh, like um, East Coast, East Coast rap, uh, like uh, you know Wu Tang and a lot of the guys that have done um, solo, solo stuff uh, out of the out of the Wu Tang family, Ghostface Killer, uh, Jizza, Raekwon, um, uh, like I like funk, you know, like Sly and the Family Stone, um, George Clinton. Um, I like punk, uh, I like, you know, The Clash, um, Wire, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, it's all over the place. I guess, you know, it, it depends on where I'm at uh, at any particular time, I guess, what my favorites will be. But the mm. real stalwarts or, you know, all those, uh, you know, most of the bands I mentioned, I guess I've always, I've always liked them. But, you know, range is all over the place. Whenever. I'm really bad at lists. I'm, I'm sorry. I was like, whenever anybody asks me like favorite movies, favorite uh, favorite bands, I kind of suck at that. So. Give me a list of your favorite movies. <laughs> um, um, just joking. Just joking. Chinatown. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, Bronson. No, it's all Charles Bronson. Yeah, Charles but we'll talk about that a little later. Um, yeah. I know you're a drummer. You've been yeah. a drummer for a while. Uh, yeah. How did you start drumming? Like in in uh, in Ohio. Um, I started drumming in uh, fifth grade, and uh, it's traditionally, I think, where you start um, playing like uh, musical instruments here in Ohio. Um, and uh, I don't know, you know, I kind of tried out a couple of different instruments, and um, it was funny. Our, our musical director didn't even ask me if I wanted to be a drummer, so I don't know how they might like, choose it eventually, but. Um, I actually asked him, I was like, well, can I try out for drums? And he was like, oh, okay. So he did this like weird rhythm exercise thing and um, where basically he was supposed to like clap and then I was supposed to like clap in between his claps or something like that. It was, um, I don't know. And I don't know, that went well. And uh, my older brother had been actually, that was probably most of it because I've always, uh, you know, my big brother, I've always looked up to him and stuff like that. So. I think that's probably why I asked in the first place. And um, you're just kind of naturally a drummer, I think, sometimes. Um, you're just, you have a natural sense of rhythm. You're drawn to that part of the music. To this day, when I hear new music, um, it's usually the first thing that I listen to, more so than lyrics or the vocals or the, even the guitar part so much. Um, and started, you know, from fifth grade with uh, just, you know, you always start usually with snare drum. And, um, uh, you know, a couple of years later, I went into drum set and, you know, fell in love with that. And, you know, that's when I first started to get into rock music. And, you know, I can almost remember really, you know, heavily getting into to rock and everything right around like seventh grade, which is, you know, surprise, surprise, when I started jazz band, which is um, how I first started playing drum set, was in the jazz band in junior high. And, uh, you know, just took it from there. I actually never had a drum set starting off. I, I was in the jazz band in junior high and the way that I practiced was actually um, playing on pillows in my bedroom actually. I was like, I had no other way. So I was like, okay, this pillow will be the, the hi-hat, this will be the snare, this will be the, you know, the toms and that's how I practiced the sheet music. And when we had our first concert, um, I actually had a drum solo, which is, was fucking insanely nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, I forget if it's like Christmas concert or whatever and I don't know uh, just, you know kind of it went really well I mean brought down the house and uh, you know got you know people were you know s s really really receptive to how it went and that kind of you know stoked my ego a little bit and uh, I was like okay I want to keep doing this so you know moving on into like high school sought out you know friends who you know were, were guitarists and stuff or didn't really so seek them out but um anybody i knew who was like playing bass or guitar or even some friends of mine who i was like hey you want to like you know join a band and 
so yeah, we just, you know, we jam together and, I, you know, the funny part is I've never actually uh, been in actually like a, a serious band, but I've been jamming with, you know, dozens of different friends uh, for like the last, oh shit, how old am I? Um, probably the last like 15 years or something like that. Hmm. So yeah, it's been a while. I'm still doing it. Gonna do it tomorrow actually probably when I get back. Cool. What are some of the like really mean drummers that you really like, you know, who really kick some ass on drumming, percussion? Um, uh, you know, Keith Moon, uh, Mitch Mitchell, uh, John Bonham, those are always, you know, the kind of the classic uh, guys that I think, you know, most drummers are influenced by. That's nothing novel. Um, you know, modern day drummers, uh, a lot of the, the, the metal drummers and stuff are uh, very... Uh, technically very proficient but um you know not always like my favorite like drummer um so uh, you know when i first started off that that was really the most important thing you're like you're, you kind of you get into this hole and i don't know why drummers a lot of times are so much more caught up in like the chops thing you know who's the best drummer who's the most badass you know uh, so you get caught up in that and then it's just like, but that's, you know, that's a dead end, you know, for me. I mean, that's only one, one aspect of it. Uh, I mean, really it's about feel and, and, you know, everything else and working with the music and working with the rest of the band that makes it, you know, a drummer great. That's what makes, you know, a guy like Ringo who really isn't, you know, that great of a musician, you know, such a great drummer though, because it worked or, you know, Charlie Watts with, um, with the Stones and stuff. Wow, I didn't mention the Stones with the bands. Yeah, what the hell am I thinking? Yeah, yeah, put them like right up there. Um, but uh, other drummers, uh, more <coughs> modern ones. Let's see. Uh, drummer for uh, Deerhoof. Um, uh, he's he's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, once again, yeah, I'm really bad at lists. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. But, yeah. Yeah. No problem. How do you, uh, when you listen to these uh, really motherfucking powerful drummers, how do you absorb these people's influences? Do you, are you conscious of trying to imitate them in your, you know, jamming session, or how do they impact you directly? Yeah, yeah, you do, you do. Um, at least I do. I, I imitate them. Uh, try to, if there's a particular lick that they do that's you know really badass, um, or a particular beat that they do. Um, that's, that's more what I'm drawn to is, is not so much like, the, like the fills, which is kind of like what you do in between the, the beats and stuff, just a little, uh, you know, a little flourish there at the end. Um, although, you know, that, that's cool too, but I mean, really essentially, like I was going back to, you know, when you're playing within a band, within the music, it's about the beat and, um, that's why you're a fucking drummer. Um, so uh, a good beat is really the most essential part. So those guys can really lay down some really nasty, like you know, some really nasty beats. Those those are the those are the guys that I like, and I'll try to like kind of try to replicate that first, and then you know you practice it enough, you kind of get it, and then eventually it becomes a, becomes a part of your style. Um, so, which is another reason I think I like funk so much. And uh, uh, you see, that's the thing, you know, jazz music. As much as I love jazz music, and as much respect as I have, and it's grown only grown over the years, my respect for jazz drummers. Because when you first start off, I don't know if you really appreciate, or at least I didn't appreciate how good um jazz drummers are you know it just seemed very cluttered and and you know maybe i thought jazz in a lot of ways at least like you know coltrane and stuff like that um free jazz is is more like god what the hell is going on how can somebody say this guy you know is that good and then you really start to grow up and and really listen to it and then you're like wow that's not jumbled at all it's just like perfectly in there but still it's not so much a beat with, with jazz, and that's why I think I'm more drawn to, when I'm, I'm naming influences, I don't say like, you know, Elvin Jones or something like that. Um, I'll say, you know, like I said, the fun, you know, funk drummers and, you know, even the guys who are laying, producers for um, rap and hip hop. I mean, that's like being a drummer. I mean, some of the greatest uh, hip hop producers, I think, are either drummers or would be fantastic drummers. Guys like, you know, Timbaland and uh, Just Blaze and RZA and, and, you know, all those guys that I think are, you know, like practically gods to me are just like, I mean, it's just the kind of like beat that they lay down that no matter if I'm on a, like a crowded subway or something like that, I just gotta like, you know, just gotta bob my head because it's just too good, you know, it's too tasty. Um, so, and, and I'll do that too, you know, I've even, you know, listen 
to you know rap and hip hop albums and just trying to like drum along with that and stuff like that because it's 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 about that groove for me.